Hello there. I finally got my bird bath. He brought it over yesterday. And I've got another one over here. A smaller one. I'll get over there in just a moment. Let me show you the back side of it. I know you're probably getting tired of seeing my driftwood rose garden, but this is probably the last time because um, unless I get some birds and squirrels and maybe a rabbit or something in there at the same time. My neighbor died on the 30th of last month and they're cleaning her place out. Her name's Connie or rather Constance, we called her Connie. And I've known her for four years. She was a good neighbor to me. She became a good friend. Here's my rock garden. And little boy, little girl, and her little dog. And there's a other bird bath. He just thought it would look better in my yard than in his. And speaking of Connie, um, my boss of 25 years, she died on the same day. They were both the same age, 69. I've never had that experience before. Two people I knew uh, dying on the same day. Seemed like all my friends are dying. I'm at that age. I've got no best friends left. Nobody to hang out with and do things with. So that's one reason I do this, fill up some of my time. I don't mind doing things on my own, I really don't. But it's nice to experience life with somebody. I was hoping a bird would be flying on this driftwood, but it don't look like it. I guess that's it. I just wanted to show you my bird baths and and uh, tell you about my. I don't know if I guess Ethel was a friend. I was uh, friends on her on Facebook, but but we never really um, stayed in contact for the past few years. Only you know saying something on Facebook to each other. That's about it. So uh, if you got some best friends with that, tell them you love them. Make some wonderful memories with them. And with, you know, le leave a wonderful memory with whoever you are with. And God bless you. Bye-bye.